from the Five Eyewitness News Studios, it's Twin Cities Live with John Hansen and Elizabeth Reese. Good. All right, coming up next on Twin Cities Live, we're going to talk about perfumes. Have you ever smelled someone who has a really bad one on? Yes, yeah. I prefer it's the good smell. Good. We have good smelling perfumes, some great things to look for when you're buying them and why you might want to avoid some of those imitations. Uh -huh. Hey, well, still to come, we've got some of the downsides and maybe even some of the dangers of imitation perfumes. We're going to do a lot of smelling coming up next. Okay, well, we've all walked past someone and thought, wow. That is a bad perfume. I'm not going to lie, but sometimes that would happen with ladies in church, you know, when I was growing really? up. Really? Yes. Our next guest says some fragrances that look like a bargain might not even be the best deal. Okay, here to help us find the right fragrance, the shop cop, consumer expert, Jennifer Litwin, back with us on Twin Cities yes. Live. Hi, nice Jennifer. Great to see you. Great to see you. Okay, so you brought some good examples of, of different types of fragrances right. to pick and how to know which one is right for you, right? Right. Well, there are a couple things that you should know before you go shopping that mm -hmm. a lot of women don't know. First of all, what's going to last the longest on you? That could be a good thing or a bad thing. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> what you want to look for is, you know, perfumes like this is Lancome will last a lot longer, four to five years, as opposed to some of the cheaper body washes or deodorants, which will last only a year, a year and a half. So, because, you, you know, sometimes I have that thing where I've not used a perfume for a while, and I've right. got like half a bottle, and then I'm like, this does not smell like it should have smelled. Right, and instead of throwing it out, you can just throw some drops into shampoo, Goodness. you know, oh. just to keep it going, so you don't because I always feel like it's wasteful. To yeah, I got a cologne that's like uh, 12 years old, and it's still three quarters oh. full, and it still works. Gosh, that's why you smell, oh, still oh good I mean. to go. I don't know. I smell great, <laughs> for the record. I, I smell great. Is it dark? Is it turning color? No, it's fine. It's Michael Jordan cologne back when he was winning championships with the Bulls. Then keep it. You Ladies, know? John Hanson, everybody. Right here. Okay, so... What, now he's an owner. Yeah, that's good. That's old. Well, the key view. with making it stay on your, on your body is you want to get it on your torso. Okay. Because the scent rises. So don't spray it. We all think we should spray it on our ears or by our ears mm -hmm. and our neck. That is wrong. You want to spray it around your torso area so it will kind of linger for a while. Okay. Um, so and you want to layer it. So if you're not using anything that's really expensive and has a lot of perfume oil in it, um, like 10 or 20 percent, put lotion on and then put your perfume on. But layer it all throughout the day and you might want to, you know, refresh it every hour or two. Okay. okay. What's hot? What's hot? Yeah. Okay. So this season, you know, florals are still very, very hot. Mm -hmm. um, they're the most popular. Great gift for a man to give a woman. Women associate it with romance. Well, and I, you brought Estee Lauder Beautiful, which is like a so classic. Popular. I mean, my mom always wore that, yes. and I just love it. And it still smells fantastic. Yeah, yes. that's a these good one. are these are popular. Um, the greens are, you know, the herbals. People associate that with being outside, you know, sports. And especially at this time of year, these are really popular. And you can get them for, you know, $15, $20 now at, at mm. a lot of the malls. Nice places like like an improvement over right, Body wash and, or body shop and uh, cobigelow.com is, is a good one. Okay. Um, citrus, popular with kids, very popular. The scents don't last a lot because you've got a lot of alcohol and water. Okay. Not a lot of, you know, oil in them. But okay. also pretty nice. And musky? Musky. I personally like musky the best. And musky is something that is really popular with women over 50. I'm this not is 50 yet, but... This is a still out of Cinnabon. Mm. Which has been around you know, forever. Ooh, my boy. favorite. I, I like the floral yeah. ones. I like the sunflowers yeah. ones. You remember sunflower? Oh, that's, that's Elizabeth Arden, yeah. That's old school? Yeah, that's a good one. I like that one. Okay, but There's Jennifer, I know that you say that the, one of the biggest trends in, in people that, they're, that these perfume makers are targeting are little kids, right? Right. Kids love all the beautiful packaging, and these designers are really targeting kids. They want them to be long-lasting customers. Mm -hmm. PacificaPerfume.com is a great one. The Body Shop has nice little packages that you can get at the holiday season or for birthday parties for under $15. Juicy is, of course, always popular, and the packaging is, is very pretty. Okay, well. one of my favorite trends in perfume are these, these perfume solid lenses. perfumes. Yes. Have you seen these? Mm. So it's a solid, yeah. it's like a little wax and then you just can put it anywhere and you don't and, and you can get it through security mm -hmm. and not have to check your bag that is what i love mm -hmm. right i have a toka one of these that i just am obsessed with that's good stuff interesting okay so it's like and they last. these you know that stuff yeah it, it, exactly so it's like, yeah that's good you can get okay. it through security what about uh, what about the imitation ones now imitation i know for cologne ones. i use a lot of that Designer imposter cologne. And, and the bottom line is, I know they're not going to last as long. You know, they're going to smell for about an hour, and that's it. Um, but they're cheaper. 
I like that. They are cheaper, and they smell good in the stores. The problem is they're made with petroleum-based butane, and so it's going to change with your own body oil, mm -hmm. and that's the thing. It's going to change with your body. So, so it's not, not necessarily going to stay the true scent on you. It could warp to something else? Yeah, within 15, 20 minutes. I mean, I've heard will. concerns over what is in mm -hmm. some of these imitations and not really being sure of some of the things that might not be so good for you in them. R right. And, and, and definitely butane is one of the things you want to watch out for okay. to, to avoid. So something to consider. And you've got smaller little samples too. Huh? Samples are a thing of the past, which I could not believe when I went to Macy's the other day. For kids' perfumes, they're still giving out samples, but for adults, they're saying wait until Christmas. They're not giving them out right now. But they are giving out really nice gifts, nicer gifts than I've ever seen before. Estee oh. Lauder, Lancome. Like a gift with Kelvin purchase? Klein. Oh, yeah, so great. if you spend like $50 or more, it looks great. That looks <laughs> fantastic. That looks That's great. great. Jennifer, thank you so much. Thank you. Jennifer left some more information on the perfume industry on our website. Just go to KSTP.com, click on Twin Cities Live, and John is working his new tote there. Oh, this is a terrific.